I don't need your blood money. Gabashew rejects birthday gift from ex-presidential aide. President Mohamed Buhari's senior media assistant, Gabashew, has rejected the sum of $50,000 offered to him as birthday present by a former presidential aide. Shew, who was clocked 62 years on November 27th, said he doesn't partake of money made from people's sad ordeal. Renu Omokri, a former aide to ex-president Goodluck Jonathan, had offered to give Shew $50,000 as birthday gift on the condition that he spends a weekend alone without security in Bama. A Boko man ravaged local government area in Bono State. Omokri said since Shew claimed that his principal deserves credit for tackling insecurity in the country, he should have no worries passing a night in the local government. The Whistler recalls that a state of emergency was declared in Bama in 2011 after the Boko people insurgents seized control of the local government area. The emergency rule persisted for years before the Nigerian military recalled it in 2015. In a presentation he made at the 10th anniversary of the Federal University, Dutsin Ma Fudma, Katsina State, on Friday, she was quoted as saying President Wari deserves credit for tackling insecurity in the country. But reacting on Saturday, Omokri took to the comment section of a Facebook post by Shew to challenge him to spend a night in Bama local government area in exchange for the sum of $50,000 that will be paid into an escrow account today or deposited with any objective and neutral third party of Gawa Shew's choice. Responding in a subsequent Facebook post on Sunday, Shew said, My message to anyone who made money using naive Shew's sad ordeal and they are flouting it remains unchanged. This is blood money. I don't need any of it. Period. Omokri, however, commented directly on the Shew's post, saying, If you have evidence that I have made money from Naive Shew's ordeal, Please expose it. You have access to the media. Alternatively, if any individual, church, foundation, government, or country has given me even one cover for naive, please speak now or forever remain silent. Sharibu was the only Christian girl held hostage by the Boko people for allegedly refusing the Boko demands to convert to Islam when the Boko released 109 girls kidnapped from the Government Girls Science and Technology College, Dapchi, Yobe, on Friday 19, 2020. How Omokri made a similar offer to Shewu in 2020 when the President aide claimed in an opinion piece that President Bwari administration had demonstrated unquestionable capacity to protect Nigerian contrary to the general perception that insecurity had worsened under the president's watch. Omokri had tweeted on December 23, 2020, Gawa Shewu said General Mohamed Buhari has made Nigerian safer. I vow to pay Gawa Shewu $20,000 if he will spend a night without security in Koshumbe or Kware, verified by an independent journalist. I will give the funds to Delhi Momodu when Gaba accepts to go. I know why um, Omokri is placing this offer. Yes. And I will tell you that Omokri is very much right. You see, these are the people that I'm bragging and voicing that very administration has provided them with maximum security. <laughs> oh my God. 
You see, Gaba Shew or any other Buari's aide cannot spend a night in a local government like this that I just mentioned without being attacked. They themselves they know. Because why? They have offended. Their hands are not clean. Their hands are not clean. They are afraid of dying. But they rejoice seeing the other person die. Ask them where are their children. They are saying that Nigeria is secure, Nigeria is secure. But the administration has provided the best security ever. Where are your children? Their children, is, they have sent all of their children abroad. None of their None, none of the children are here in Nigeria. Why? Because they are afraid. They are afraid. And they are, they are noising about. They are noising about. Who are they fooling? Who are they fooling? They are not kids. They are not kids. So Omokri has, 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 has said the right thing. If he knows that he is he is confident enough. He should go in for the bet. He should go in for the bet. And let's see. Let's see how, how, how he can. He can't even. I bet you he can't. Because he himself, he knows. He knows. So what he's just saying now to me is just noising. It's just noising. What we're saying is, go in for the bet and let's see the authenticity. Let's see the authenticity. Not by blabbing. Not by noising. They have thrown the challenge. Let us have it. Abby? <laughs> oh, quite interesting. Quite interesting. People of this kind are people who will say something and they will not do what they say. I'm telling you, they will not what they say. Hmm. My dear listeners, these are the things we get from aid coming from President Mobari. Yes. Let me hear you speak anyway to know what you have to say. Don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.